Hi everyone. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I want to share with you what I call the effortless templates. The effortless templates. Have you heard of that? It's a template that you will embrace or if you embrace you will be so amazed at the effortlessness by which you will live your life now you consider this you know what the bible says it says anyone who has been baptized into christ such a person has put on Christ. That's what the Bible says. If you've been baptized into Christ, it means that you have put on Christ. Do you know what that means? That means that you are clothed with Christ. You are clothed with His perfect righteousness. It also means that you are adorned with his glory it also means that you are endued with his strength it also means that you are inspired by his omniscient wisdom it means your bowels are filled with his mercies and his compassion it means your mind is powered by his limitless creative imagination it's what it means to be clothed with christ if you are baptized into christ that's in galatians chapter i think it's chapter three or chapter four it says you have put on Christ. If you are baptized into Christ, it means you are wearing Christ. So what this means is Christ, you are leveraging on his excellencies. You are living by his perfection. But most importantly, what I like to say here is that all the favors of Christ all the favors that Christ enjoys with God the Father all the privileges that God the Father has given to him and the great standing Jesus has before God it's also yours you also have it in other words you can leverage on his excellence you can leverage on his perfection you can leverage on all the beauties of Christ you can leverage on his loveliness and live by it when I say leverage on it you can appropriate it for yourself <laughs> it's not yours but you can have it it's not yours but you can have it just listen to me the excellencies of Christ, the perfection of Christ, the beauties of Christ, the loveliness of Christ, you can appropriate for yourself when you have put on Christ. Just put him on. Put him on and you will be putting on his excellencies. Listen. The most important point I want to make now is that he who has put on Christ in other words he who is baptized into Christ has put on Christ and you have access to his unmerited favor Bible says he's the fountain of grace he's the sole custodian of grace so you can function under unmerited favor now let me give you 
a very simple but powerful illustration of what I call unmerited favor. Unmerited favor is where you are, have access to favors that you don't deserve, that you don't merit, and you do not work for. That is what is meant by unmerited favor. Now, I want to show you how this works, and it's so interesting. It goes against the fiber of nature. It goes against our grains, the grains of our being. But listen to what James said in James 1.17. James said, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And come it down, come it down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. It says good gifts, perfect gifts. It says it come it down. Church, are you listening? It come it down from where? From the Father of lights. Just see the skies. Can you see the skies? So you just imagine perfect gifts, good gifts coming from above, coming down and falling into your laps. That's how James describes it. Now, let me show you good illustrations of this. In Exodus chapter 16, the Israelites had come out of the bondage of Israel, of Egypt they had walked across they had walked across the um, Red Sea and they were now going through the wilderness and they were complaining of food so God promised them that he will give them food and see what he says what the Lord said unto Moses concerning the provision he had planned for the Israelites he said behold I will rain bread I will rain bread from where from heaven <laughs> that's what he said i will rain bread from heaven so he said i will rain bread from heaven for you very specific i'm going to cause bread to be rained down from where see from heaven for you this is exodus 16 4. he said the bread i will rain down he said it's for you you god is so specific and he says the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that i may prove them whether they will walk in my law or not but the point i'm trying to bring out here is that god says as far as provision is concerned for his people, he says it's going to be a case of raining bread from heaven. 